Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It's Saturday morning and we would usually be hiking this morning. We have done Saturday morning hikes for every single Saturday of this year so far. This would have been our sixth hike in a row, like the sixth weekend in a row. Actually, one of the weekends we did Sunday instead of Saturday, but unfortunately, because of all of the flooding and like landslides and stuff that happened in LA, our hike is closed. The actual like entire park, mountain, etc., is closed. So we were like, hmm, we could go on like a nice walk, but we already do that on Sundays. So we decided to go to a cycling class, which I haven't been to in like a year. If you've been watching my vlog since last year, um, I went to this cycling class and I was like feeling all in my head because I was like second to last in the class. But I did learn since then that you can opt out of like being on the leaderboard and then I think you can opt out of like the emails that they send you after class. I don't quite know how to do that yet, but we're just going for fun. Drew's going with me this time, so that's exciting. I can't say I'm looking forward to it. Like I actually am low-key dreading it a little bit, but I'm also looking forward to the feeling afterwards and like it's right by the beach. So it's a nice sunny day. Maybe we can like walk down and get some nice like sun rays and stuff. But uh, in the meantime, Let's go cycling. <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> soaking wet like if you parted my hair down the middle and the back like if I was to do pigtails actually it still is soaking wet I was sweating it was really fun though we enjoyed the instructor we just got our um they send you like an email after the fact with how you placed in class which I told myself I wasn't gonna look at but that's okay and we got 25th and 26th out of 29 <laughs> Not I mean it was your first time I haven't been in a year there were like people of all different ages and sizes and stuff so that was really cool and yeah I mean definitely a good workout you said it was way harder than the hike oh yeah yeah it's have a lot of cardio I think yeah it's a lot of cardio yeah I mean it's mostly cardio and lots of leg strength but anyways we did it and now it's Saturday morning and we're sitting on the beach with a smoothie just like what a life so I grateful Oh yeah, I did. We did walk into Equinox to get a smoothie from there, and all the rich, hot celebrities were wow. working out. No, they didn't. Get your smoothie. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day, and we are a bit dead uh, from our class yesterday, but it's good. It's good that we're like still doing things on Saturdays that I don't know, just like get the endorphins going, make us feel good. But um, yeah, Drew was hurting. <laughs> Definitely after the fact, uh, cause he does more like weightlifting and less cardio stuff. So anyway, we had a good time. It's Sunday morning now. We have some laundry going. We're gonna head out for a little coffee walk. Sometimes we just like pick a neighborhood and drive there and then just like walk around and that makes it really fun. And then we have some Target and Trader Joe's action today. Day. just typical Sunday things. I'll show you my outfit of the day. Oh, my camera is still in the car. That's why we're on the phone. Can I do this from here? Possibly? Um, maybe we'll lower you. There we go. Okay, you can kind of see that. So I have my little, I think these are Asics shoes, Pumas, something like that. I think I got these on ASOS. Got my cute little scrunchy socks, my leggings, feeling very Princess Diana. I have my thrifted sweatshirt that I have cut up in all different ways. And of course, my Apple Watch. My least favorite accessory, but I like tracking my steps. And then I have these sunglasses from Amazon. So let's go get some coffee. Oh, 
which is the best way to spend a Sunday. However, speaking of spending a Sunday, yikes. We were out of like almost everything. And so this is like a complete and total restock. I'm talking, we were out of toilet paper, out of paper towels, out of trash bags, out of Ziploc bags. Like we needed absolutely everything. Okay, starting with Target, we have this hint water that Drew and I have become addicted to. We actually first tried this. I think Drew's mom has them a lot in her fridge. And it's just like a still water that's got like a tiny bit of flavor in it. And they're just really good. So we got this pack that has strawberry lemon, watermelon, peach, and raspberry. We got some balanced breaks. I got the cashew cheddar cranberries and white cheddar almond cranberries. They're just like little snack packs. Got some protein yogurts for after my workouts. Got some perfect bars. They're my favorite, like, they're not a protein bar, I guess. I mean, I guess kind of. They're not those like artificially sweetened tons of protein powder in them. There's 15 grams of protein. I think it has like egg in it or something, but they're really good. I got two packs of those actually. We got some whipped cream, which we have found through watching like vlogs and British TV shows and stuff that you guys call it squirty cream over there, uh, which I don't. Call it <laughs> Drew calls it squirty cream all the time now. And actually Layla used to know what that meant because sometimes we give her just a tiny little dollop and Drew would say, you want some squirty cream? And she'd go. She knew what it meant. We also got some oat milk. We got two of them because they were on sale. One of these is usually like almost $6 and they were on sale two for seven. For a second. <laughs> um, and then some almond milk. Got that. What else do we get at Target? We got some tortillas, some bread. I've heard good things about this Primal Kitchen brand, so I decided to try it. I got the barbecue sauce and the ketchup. We got a bunch of like toiletries shit. We got some liquid IVs. We got the sugar-free and the regular just to have both. We got golden cherry and white peach. Why not? Drew likes to drink liquid IV a lot, especially when he has like a migraine. So we do that. We got some relish. They were out of like the regular relish. So we have the kind in the jar. Ugh. The rest of this is just like toiletry stuff, except, oh, I also got the Primal Kitchen Ranch. We're gonna try all those. Got some Ziploc bags, some QP mayo, and then the rest of this is like toothbrushes, conditioner, things like that. Now on to Trader Joe's. Because I always forget to show, we did get some flowers to make a little Valentine's bouquet together. So we got some, I think these are all carnations. I think they all are. They're really cute. So we have red, pink, and then these like pink or red and white ones. Okay, Trader Joe's, we got shaved Parmesan. I decided to try this tomato feta soup. Has anyone had this? Is it good? Please let me know. Sometimes it's nice to just have like a little side of soup with your lunch. We got frozen garlic and ginger. These are so clutch when you're cooking. Just has like a little lid that pops off and you just like, it's like an ice tray or something. And it's so convenient. Drew got these Dutch griddle cakes to try. I don't know if they're probably not very Dutch, but I had them. Oh, they? you've had them? Oh, he said, they're good. Um, sharp cheddar, smoked turkey breast for sandwiches. We got some tzatziki, I think that's how you say it. But well, like Americans, a lot of times just say tzatziki to make like um, these kava inspired bowls, which maybe I'll show in the next vlog or a future vlog. Drew got this carbonara from the frozen section to try. Why not? We got some frozen mashed potatoes. We like things easy and quick. Got some more frozen rice. Again, just so clutch to have in the freezer. Like there is nothing worse than making a meal and realizing at the very end of it that you forgot to make rice and it takes like you know 25 minutes. So it's nice to just pop that in the microwave. Got some bacon and Drew got his apple juice, of course. Nobody panic. He got his apple juice. Oh, this is like all the meat. So we got ground turkey, salmon, ground chicken, chicken breasts, and a half chicken, like a spatchcocked half chicken. So this one is lemon rosemary. We've gotten this before, it's good. Next up we got random things in this bag. We've, 
Listen, there were like three people bagging. We were chatting it up with the cashiers. They were so funny. There were two of them. One of the cashiers was bagging, Drew was bagging, and I was bagging at the same time, so we were just throwing stuff in. We got some bell peppers, some strawberries to have in like yogurt parfaits and to see. I got these apple chips. It's red and green apples cut into chips. Speaking of apples, we talked about apples in the last vlog. I got some different ones to try today that I've never had. Got two sweet onions. We always get compliments on these mystery bags that we got, by the way. In case you missed it, this was probably back in like November or December. They had these little like mystery packs of bags from other states available. So we got Indiana, Atlanta, and Idaho, I think. Oh my god, it never ends. Why did we buy so much food? Listen, this is like our fun day. This is how we like to spend our money. And honestly, we used to spend hundreds of dollars a month on like Postmates, DoorDash, food delivery, etc. So now we're just buying all of our food from the grocery store. So honestly, I'm fine with it. Okay, got some bananas. We have two things of bananas actually. We are gonna try this organic baked tofu. It's a teriyaki flavor. That looks pretty good. I think I remember people saying that that was good. We needed black pepper. Drew got some Campari tomatoes. Got some avocados. Um, we got some pears. I don't know what kind these are. Bartlett pears, I think. Pears are like the most underrated fruit when they're actually ripe and ready, but they're kind of finicky like that. Um, we got some carrots, some spaghetti, more bananas. We basically like buy really green bananas and then less green bananas because they go bad really fast and then we freeze the rest of them because I have at least one banana every day in this movie. Got some pita bite crackers. Drew has these for various lunches and things. Got some black beans, a bunch of these fruit leathers. These are my favorite to have with my lunch. They're like an organic fruit leather. We have apple blueberry, apple strawberry, and apple wildberry. Got some baby zucchinis. These are so cute and delicious. So we love that. Baby cucumbers. Why not? Instead of buying one big one, why not buy a bunch of tiny little ones? It's freaking precious. This is the last thing. Oh my God, we did it. Oh no, there's another bag. Just kidding. But for this bag, I got a Cosmic Crisp apple. I have never tried it. It does look a little dark red, so I'm concerned, but we'll see. And then an Envy apple. So I don't think I've had either of these before. So we'll, we'll report back. Oh, Drew saw these. I actually want to try them so bad. Oh, no, you saw them. Oh, yeah. You have to get them. And I was like, well, yeah. Uh, I did. I actually did see these. These are called Pizza Party Potato Chips. I'm going to try them. Like, yeah, that sounds amazing. Green beans, lettuce, salad mix, kale, another salad mix. Oh, uh, what's this called? Asparagus. <laughs> White cheddar puffs, these are so delicious. And I think that is all. Whoa, we kind of blacked out, but honestly, like we ate like all of our food pretty much. It was it was, all gone. It was like all gone. So anyway, that's our haul. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go rest. I am like so so tired this weekend. We've done a lot, but like not really a lot at the same time. I don't know. But I am quite tired, so we're gonna put all this stuff away. And then we will reconvene okay, later. The party first. Oh, sorry. Okay. It smells nice. Mmm. It's exactly like those other things, but just on a chip. Mmm. Very good. It's really pretty. Yeah. Ooh, Valentine's Day. That one's too big. And her baby. All right, it's a little while later. If Actually, I don't know if you can see that at all, but there is actually football happening in our house right now, which has never happened. Maybe like 2017 Super Bowl, was that when? It was Lady Gaga, like we all watched, all of our friends came over to our old house and watched the like halftime performance, but not the actual game. But it's Taylor's boyfriend, so we have to know what's happening. Stay in the know, but um, a package just got delivered, and I'm so freaking excited because I'm pretty sure this is my grown up coloring book that I ordered. And like, I know everyone's kind of been doing that for a while. Oh my god, this table is shaking very bad, but I haven't really gotten into that. I used to spend all my time scrolling on my phone, I'm trying to do less of that. I'm getting like some good pages in on my Kindle, but 
I saw this. They had like an English countryside coloring book. And I thought it was so cute. So I was like, I'm definitely going to color on this thing. I do wish it kind of had like a harder surface. But like, look, we've got so many cute little thatched cottages and sort of like Victorian looking ones. So I'm actually so excited about this. I mean, it's pretty like... um basic and i think a lot of it is going to be like the same colors i just got these because i don't have any coloring pencils colored pencils Ooh, look at these very colorful very fun so yeah i might have to i might have to dig into these in a little bit i just have been trying to do more like tactile things with my hands when either like we're watching a show or just like drew's playing video games or whatever just because i had such a good time when we were watching the traders and i made my little vision board that i showed in the last vlog i mean i made it like in january but i had such a good time like crafting and that was such a huge part of just who i was as a kid and i feel like over the last several years really i've tried really hard to like get back in touch with things that I enjoyed doing as a kid so like I play on my switch and I play like all three Donkey Kong countries <laughs> that used to be on Super Nintendo from like the mid 90s mid to late 90s um, I play all of those pretty regularly and like listen to a lot of nostalgic music and so I thought you know doing some more crafty things in my life might be fun and I feel like all the time it's all about like how you can turn your hobbies into a side hustle or a way to like make money or whatever. And I'm trying to like really veer from that. I'm trying to find more things that like I just enjoy doing on my own. Reading definitely is one of those things for me. I really would love to get back into music. I have like a big musical background and like I love singing, I love playing piano, I love playing guitar. So like I would really love to get back into that at some point, but it's just like apartments and like having enough room and all that kind of stuff so we'll see but in the meantime i need to take a shower i'm gonna make myself a snack first but i we walked like four and a half miles earlier today like after we got our coffee and stuff and um my legs are tired and then we walked all over target we walked all over trader joe's so we definitely had like quite a bit of walking today so we probably walked like over five miles my hips are hurting but i can I can smell that I think I need to take a shower. So that is what we're gonna do, but we're watching the Super Bowl kind of. Just trying to keep up with, you know, what's going on in Taylor's life. I know as someone who's taken that flight to and from Japan twice, um, it's rough and like it really does a number in your body. So the fact that she just did four shows in Japan and then got on a flight back to Vegas, like that's crazy. Anyways, okay. Let's go make a snack. I'm probably gonna make my apple snack. Ooh, I can try one of my new apples. <laughs> my life is so exciting. All right, I think the apple I'm gonna try is the Cosmic Crisp. I have never heard of or tried this before. I do actually think some people recommended these though, and I was like, how on earth? I had never seen them, so we'll see. And then I just have some almond butter. I'm too lazy to get the yogurt out, and also we're probably gonna eat dinner in like an hour or two, so I don't wanna be like too full. We're not gonna talk about my cutting setup. I'm sometimes just so lazy to get a cutting board and I just cannot be bothered to get a cutting board. Okay, let's take a little taste of it on its own. Mm, it's quite good. Tastes like an apple, great. Now we're gonna give it the almond butter test. That's how you know if it's like a good companion. I, I don't know if I've talked about this, but since having COVID in 2021, it's kind of turned me off peanut butter. Like I can still have a peanut butter sandwich and like peanut butter cups and stuff like that. But as far as like peanut butter on things, like I just much prefer almond butter now. So, okay, cheers. Mm-hmm. I missed it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit of it with chocolate chips because duh. Mm-hmm. That's the combo right there. What are you eating? The new apple? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Cosmic crisp. Yeah, I'm trying to like see if there's like any like distinct flavor, <laughs> but I mean it just sort of tastes like an apple. Ten out of ten. Face the sky, another night goes by. I can't describe what you are.
it is the next day and I'm just getting ready to do some filming. It's actually in the afternoon. I've been doing like some editing and stuff this morning, but I remembered in the last vlog, I was talking about this bra that I found that I feel like actually kind of works. I'm trying to see if it says on the tag what it's called. Of course not, that would make too much sense. Okay, I'll find what it's called and link it down below. But basically I have like really hard times with bras, especially with underwire bras. Like I just wear these tank tops that have built-in bras. And I mean, this isn't the most supportive shaping situation. Um, This is just what I lounge around the house in. But I think I saw Rosie Blair talk about this and I was like, oh yeah, gotta try it. All of her recommendations are always really good and I really like it. So I thought I would show you a little before and then show you an after, after I put this on with just like a white t-shirt, because it really makes like such a difference. So here we have the before. All right, and here is the after. Quite a difference it makes, and it's honestly pretty comfortable. Like I have it pretty tight on everything because I want things to be nice and like shaped and supported and stuff, but I like it. I think it's really cute. So anywho, I will try to remember to link it down below. Um, if I forget, please remind me, but I just think it's like one of those things that makes everything that you wear look a little bit nicer. So now I'm going to film a main channel video. I'm running a little bit late, but not terrible. And I think I have officially reached the point that I always do every time I do this, every time I change my hair or cut bangs or whatever. And I'm reaching the point where I'm like, I'm done. I want them to grow out now. <laughs> I'm tired of pinning them back all the time. Like I, it happens every time, but I'm glad I did it. Like I really am. I like being able to style them when I want, but today I kind of tried to like hairspray them back a little bit so they're not as <laughs> in my face. And sometimes they just like lose their shape and stuff like that. So anyway, let's go get to filming this video. I have to put on my shoes. This is a, like an outfits video. So it's gonna be a lot of changing in and out of my clothes, but I haven't done like a dress up video in a while. So it'll be nice. This is 24 seven, baby. All right, just finished filming. Um, you're gonna have to ignore the beeping if you can hear it. Most people say they can't, which is great. It's just so much louder in person. So I'm always like apologizing and then people are like, I can't hear it. I'm like, oh. But anyways, I just finished filming my main channel video and I'm gonna get started on some editing for a vlog. And that is pretty much it. That's the weekend done. I mean, the week has already started, obviously. So now I'm gonna sit on the couch, enjoy my, maybe my coloring book. Maybe color a little bit, play my Nintendo Switch, and that's it for me. I'm gonna absolutely chill. So thank you so much for being here and for hanging out with me over the weekend, for watching this vlog. I sincerely appreciate you, and I will see you very soon in the next one.